Welcome back to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. I'm Connor Williams and we're back with another one of our 24-7 news report videos. Haven't done this for a while, probably since the summer, um, just because the transfer window died out and that's where predominant news is. But there's a lot of news today, so this is a basically a transfer news story uh, episode. It's all about transfer news. Starting off, we start with the headline news and the headline news is that uh, Everton have held talks with Manchester United left back Luke Shaw in the summer. Leicester also held talks. Lampard is still interested in Shaw, but the 27 year old's open for a new contract with his current deal expiring next summer. That's come via Jack Talbot, um, who is a writer for the um, the Times, the Mirror. Um, the Guardian, a, a load of other ways, just a football journalist. Um, which we did run a poll on the Toffee Blues as well. Um, as we do with some of them, we said, Would you take Luke Shaw at Everton? That was know your thoughts. 30, uh, 1830 of you voted, 39% said, Yeah, 18.3% said, Not sure, 42.7% of you said, No. Um, being realistic and honest here, uh, Luke Shaw doesn't impress me much. I'm not a Luke Shaw fan. Um, I think Mourinho had his number. Uh, I know he enjoyed a little bit after Mourinho, but it's now come blatantly clear that he's he's not going to make it at United. But we do just have Mikolenko and Vinagre, so there isn't a surprise that the club were after him. Um, I think this was probably before the Vignagre comment uh, transfer. We did need a backup. I like Mikolenko. I think he's solid. Luke Shaw's probably a bit, maybe maybe a little bit better going forward. Um, but Luke Shaw's fitness record isn't very good. Um, Mikolenko has solid 7 out of 10s each game. I like him. Uh, Luke Shaw, I, I think it'd be harsh to drop him for Luke Shaw. I think Luke Shaw would have to be a backup. Luke Shaw would be a very expensive backup. He's a good player and I think he'll be useful, but he's expensive um, for somebody who's going to sit on the bench. I think now that we have um, Mikolenko, we can sort of look back at that and think it is what it is. Didn't get him, that's fine. Um, so yeah, interesting though that we were after him. Um, clearly, we're looking for a bit more permanent before the loan. We also have that United, Manchester United and Everton are interested in signing Ghanaian international Abdul Fatawu. Isaku, um, Everton sent a scout to watch the promising winger in the Champions League game in his last Champions League game against Tottenham. He plays for, um, I believe that is Sporting Lisbon, and this has come from Ojogo in Portugal. Um, don't know an awful lot about the lad other than he's a very good wonder kid on Football Manager, and this year he's, he's a good player there. Um, yeah, don't know an awful lot about him. We do need wingers. We need a lot better quality out there in the wing as well as a bit of depth. Um, so I'm not surprised the club are looking at are looking at him. We were looking at Chuck Wazy in the summer. Wish we'd got him now, really, um, because the lack of talent outside um on the wings is is really really bad. Um, speaking of wingers though, uh, the Spurs Express have reportedly claimed that the Times have said that Tottenham could reignite their interest in Anthony Gordon. This will be an interesting one for everybody. Um, I Depending on the price, I, I think at Chelsea we should have sold him to Chelsea at first. I think we looking back, that was really daft. Gordon works hard. I don't think he's technically our best, one of our better players, but he works hard. But I think he's struggling at the minute. Um, I think a lot of players are struggling now. Whether they're the players or the system is another debate for another, probably another episode. Um, but we are struggling creatively. He's one of them. I think he's got more yellow cards and he's got goal involvements. Um, it's it's not great, is it? It's not great. Um, the price, if the price was forty to forty million, I'd 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 be really tempted to sell him. Again, though, don't know if it's just the system with Gordon, but he, he has struggled. But then, which this is why I say it might be the system. Name an attacking player that isn't struggling at the minute at Everton. They all seem to be struggling. Um, we also have the news that Michael Keane is set to leave Everton on loan in January. The door is open to Europe after the defender secured an Irish passport. Everton rejected offers from West Ham and Nottingham Forest in the summer. This has come from Mike Keegan of the Daily Mail. Good. 
Uh, it's a shame it's not a permanent one, but who's going to buy him? Um, let him go. I think it might be the best thing for Everton and his career. I think um, at the time of recording, this was just after the 4-1 Bournemouth battering in the cup. I think he showed that he's not he's not Everton's standard. Let him go out in Europe, a slower league. He might be able to do a little bit better in the likes of Italy. Might turn his career around. I think it's best for us and for Michael Keane's career that he moves on. Um, so, yeah, watch that one. Um, we also have Simon um, Simon Phillips, um, the sports journalist, who has said that Everton and Newcastle are reportedly monitoring Armando Brogia's situation for January in case he's not bec- uh, in case he becomes available for loan. Uh, however, he's not plan he's not something Graham Potter or Chelsea are planning for right now. So after all that in the summer, us going for Brogia and not getting him, and happened to get Moy Pie. Chelsea then. Weren't really playing him, sacked the manager, got a new manager. He doesn't look to be part of that manager's plans either because of Aubameyang's um, entrance into the club. Looks like we could go after him on loan again. Moy Pai isn't very good. I said this when we signed Moy Pai. Um, he never gets over 10 goals a season. He is limited. He's, a, he's not a very good forward. I don't get it wrong, I wasn't sold on Brozier. I still think he's very young and I still think he won't get over 10 goals in a season. But he might offer a little bit more in the fact that he's a bit more of a physical presence. He's built a little bit more like Calvert-Lewin than Moy Pai is. So it'd mean if he comes on, at least when we lump the ball up, it's not as hopeless as when we lump it up to Moy Pai and expect him to manage to get the ball somehow. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to wait and see on that one. A loan deal's fine. I'm not A loan deal for him, I'd be happy with that. That's, that's not that big of a deal. Um, we also have that Everton are interested in signing Villarreal winger Nicholas Jackson in January. Newcastle and Aston Villa are also monitoring the forward. That's come by Simon Jones from the Mail Sport. Again, it's pretty obvious the club seems to think that wingers is what we need. I don't know a lot about Jackson, um, but I know we do need better quality wingers. We also need a better quality centre mid, uh, creative centre mid, and attacking centre mid slash cam. Hopefully, that's something the club know about, uh, and it's just not being reported. But yeah, winger and one of those creative sentiments slash number 10s, I would say, is what we need in this squad. We can't depend on a way for all our creativeness in midfield. Um, but yeah, it looks like the club have highlighted the wing and midfield as the problem areas. We also have the Everton are interested in Monaco fullback uh, Kyle Enrique uh, and have probed a possible deal in coming months. This has come from um, IG... Uh, He's Sporter, I believe. Um, they're reporting that a deal is possible. Um, they are, I believe, a French uh, sports paper. Yeah, uh, Enrique, I don't think he's Monaco standard. He might be our standard. He's a much more creative fullback, um, which is where I think he might pit Mikolenko. Um I I I don't think Mikolenko and left back is the position that we are dying out for right now. Though I think it is a centre mid, like I said, and a um and some wingers. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, clearly, the club have a have an idea. Like I said, I don't know if it's system or the players, but we'll have to wait and see. That is all we got time for. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and comment down below your thoughts on any of the transfer rumors spoken about today. What do you think about us being in after two left backs after Mikalenko's had a good start? Where do you think we need to improve? Would you sell Anthony Gordon? Let me know down below. See you guys very soon.